Well, you know, I think like um, m most people, certainly if we went back 10 or 15 years ago who worked on uh, wealth, I was focused on uh, my own country and uh, a few others. And the countries that were easy to study were essentially Europe, North America, Japan. And uh, people in my area of the discipline had done careful studies comparing, you know, Sweden with the United States, France with the United States, these, these kinds of things. But people weren't thinking globally. And the, the, the impact of wider was that wider does think globally. And it uh, reaches out. Um, and uh, so I was, you know, wider reached out to me. And uh, I, you know, was brought over, and uh, uh, we just began to think about uh, why are we not thinking about distribution of wealth globally? Why are we just thinking about our own backyard, you know? And uh, so from there, that's how things developed. And like you say, um, the repertoire changed completely, you know? And... Uh, what we discovered was that um, there was a lot going on in other parts of the world. Um, in India, uh, the, every 10 years since the 1950s, they've been running a mammoth survey. With, they go out and they uh, interview about 100,000 households and find out all about their assets and their debts as well as their income. And uh, in China, they've been doing it from the uh, old early 1990s every five or seven years, very serious interest in, in this area. And for whatever reason, um, uh, you know, people in the developed world really didn't know what people in those areas were doing. And uh, there was great synergy from bringing it all together. Um, we had a project at WIDER where we, uh, we brought researchers together from all over the world and uh, began to compare and uh, build up an understanding uh, on a global level of uh, what was happening in terms of personal assets. I think, I think uh, you know, there, there are many uh, things going on and um, this has been increasing public interest in issues of inequality and governments and, and so on. But part of the reason that there's been this increasing interest is because of what the researchers are doing. And uh, WIDER has been uh, uh, a pioneering organization in terms of uh, bringing people together uh, to, you know, work on these aspects, right? The Nobel Prize winner, Martia Sen, um, did some of his uh, most significant work on inequality uh, over 30 years ago. Uh, when he was in residence at WIDER. And the tradition has gone on from there. And WIDER is a very special organization because unlike uh, other major uh, international economics research organizations, say the World Bank or the IMF, which do uh, excellent research, uh, WIDER is a different model. It has a relatively small uh, permanent staff. And what it does is it brings in researchers from around the world and um, uh, engages them intensively on research projects. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a very productive model. The, the publications of the uh, institute are, uh, are very impressive relative to the size of the institute. Um, it's, uh, it's had a really big impact. Well, um, you know, we're appreciating more and more that um, well-being is a multi-dimensional thing, you know, and of, of course in the work of uh, uh, Sen from the beginning, he's emphasized the importance of what he calls functionings and uh, the abilities people have and the freedom they have to actually uh, do things in their lives. And, and this, is, this is, as you say, multi-dimensional. Wealth is one of these dimensions. And uh, people's ability to achieve the things that they want to do in life is greatly enhanced uh, by personal wealth. Um, 
So I think it's, it's um, part of the picture. Um, and uh, we're broadening our understanding. Um, we've always looked at income, consumption. Um, so researchers in my area are saying, let's look at wealth as well. Uh, try to integrate these two things, get an overall picture of these kind of strictly economic dimensions, but then also, you know, at the same time, be aware of the need to look at education, health, the environment, these other aspects, and uh, you know, bring them into the picture as well. Mm -hmm.